Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters and then Ryze's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him. And you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just- Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right, you need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah, okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Look, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand.
Mama ain't happy. Nobody happy. So you better make Mama happy. Yazi. Me too. We have the same name. Are you from the video store? No, my name's Crane. Crane? Crane rhymes with train and brain and sane and grain and rain and plane and the other kind of plane and and. But can I come in? No, no. It's impossible. Impossible. This is my special day with mom. It's Mother's Day, and it's the most important day of the whole world. Are you from the video store? Why do you keep asking me that? Uh, because you're supposed to bring my movie about me. It's called Charlie, and it's all about me, and how smart I am. Look, Gazi, if I bring you your movie, will you let me come in? Sure. Then you could watch with us. It is Mother's Day, and if Mama ain't happy, Nobody happy. Oh, and, and she also wants chocolate. Mama wants chocolate. No, 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 wait a minute, that's too much. Don't argue with Gozzi. It doesn't work. That... That's what the drugstore people say.
All gone. All gone in a heartbeat. Uh, excuse me? Would you look at me, friend, and think that man is a success? No? <laughs> I do not blame you, but I am. You say I was. Almost every gasoline station in Haran I owned. And when they announced the Global Athletics Games, it was supposed to be like... like a windfall. Like winning the lottery. That didn't work out, huh? Well, look around you. What do you think, huh? Haran was a decent place to live. Maybe a little backward in some ways, but we got by. Then we won the bid for the games. Oh. All the promises they made us. Average citizens were supposed to become wealthy. And the wealthy, well, we were supposed to become kings. I am no king. All the dreams we had, the plans we made, gone in the blink of an eye. And it wasn't just successful entrepreneurs either. The government filled all our heads with golden promises. Are you a window washer? An appliance repairman? A ditch digger? The games will transform your lives. Your world will change. Yes, our world changed. Sure enough. You take a good look around your face. You take a good look and you tell yourself, I must appreciate what I have right now in this place. Because it can all be snatched away from you in the time it takes to blink your eyes.
son of a bitch, not now. Charlie, Charlie, see you for Charlie. Gotcha.
Here's your movie and your chocolates. Wait till Mom see this. Oh, Gazi wins again. Hooray for Gazi! Right. Hey, then I'll just let myself in through the roof. Gazi. Shh. The movie is hot. Mama's watching. Is Mama happy? Yeah. Mama's real happy. Gazi got her chocolates and a movie. Well, then I'm gonna take some medicine to help my friend. Well, okay. Oh, Mama stopped getting seizures when her head turned into a pumpkin. They're on the table. Yeah, thanks, Gazi. Gazi make... Everybody happy.
doing? Where's the army? Please, I'm over here! Look, I've got to get out of here. I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <sighs> Safest place in the slums, maybe, but the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family. And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details, but I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place, and you're looking at him. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours, as well as everything you find there. I've got your anti-seizure medicine. Thanks. Oh, how things go with Gazi? Well, he may be challenged, but he's very good at getting what he wants. Did you meet his mom? Yeah. She seemed happy. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Speaking of which, Brecken asked me to pass this on to you. With his thanks. <laughs> 